Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to work on a air compressor. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this air compressor and said it had some issues. Uh, and I plugged it in and yes, it has issues. So we're going to try to fix this thing and try to re, uh, try to sell it and make some money. So I'll turn this camera around and show you what we got. So what we have here is a Husky Revolution Air and I don't really see a model number on it anywhere. Yeah, I don't see no model number. And it's got a air outlet and tank pressure. You got 90 psi on this one and 40 psi on this one. So, you got your gauge, and your pressure relief valve, and your on-off switch. I don't know what this is right here, but you got your hose. Which is one of them old flimsy hoses. And um, we're going to try to see if we can't fix this. But it's got a broken wheel. And these things just pop off, I believe. I think there's the types that pop on. Yeah. So we're going to pop them off. Because they both got, both of them broke. Don't have to be careful with them to broke. Alright, so that's what we got coming off of it. And I think that's the cheapest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now I want you to look at these wheels. And then I want you to read this with me. That says, Husky, the toughest name in tools. Toughest being the operative word. Do they not realize what the word tough means? That doesn't mean tough. That's wimpy. That should say the wimpiest name in tools. And it shouldn't be called Husky, it should be called Chihuahua. Anyway. We're gonna take and test this out. First of all. Yep. Let's hit the power and see what happens. Pressurizing. All right, we have a leak. It's not in the hose, it's inside. So we're gonna have to take this thing apart. So let me get a Phillips screwdriver and we'll take this thing apart. <laughs> Alright guys, the handle is actually the tank. 
Isn't that freaking weird? Show you that. You got the pump, the motor, and the tank. That is the tank. Goes from here. You can see the air going in. Your air or water evacuator. Uh, that's not the pressure switch. That's the uh, uh, I can't remember what you call that. You got your pressure switch. Regulator to regulate both of these for whatever you want. Now let's find out where the air leak is. Well, it's coming from this regulator here. All right, well, let's see if we can can't fix that. All right, what we got here had a little water in it. Need to be cleaned out a little bit, and the seal's bad. So I believe I have an O-ring for that. So we'll put a new O-ring on that after we clean it up a little bit and see if that does the trick. There we go. We found us a smaller one. It's the same size this way, but the other one was a little bigger around in the size. Alright, let's try this again. regulator because it is going up to 125 and it's only set, supposed to be 90.
can't tell where it's coming from. But it stops and holds the pressure. So I guess to adjust it, we adjust this nut right here, or bolt. I can't tell what it says. test this hose out and make sure it's not messed up. And hope that my nozzle fits. Hose ain't leaking. Hose fittings work. So now that we've got it working, and it's even got an LED or light in that showing that it's got power. It's plugged into the wall. I think that's interesting that that thing is a tank also. <laughs> I've never seen one like that. So now, let's enjoy some more music and I'll put this thing back together. Unplug first. Next thing we need to do is fix the wheels. So, what it did, I went and got the wheels off of a um, pressure washer that I have in the building that I don't know anything about yet. And I didn't really want to rob them, but I don't have a, really have a choice. Uh, I need the money, so I'm going to sell this one, this set of wheels with this, and then figure out another set of wheels for the other one. So we need to figure out how to make these work like that. So here's what I come up with. 
I made these because that cord is in the way I, had, I couldn't go all the way through. I wanted to go all the way through with it and just drill a hole through it and then put a uh, bolt through it and be done with it. But because that cord's in the way we couldn't do that. So we are going to drive these in where it needs to be. Get stuff out of my shoes. And run this through. Like so. And then I made it so it would be a press stick. So We're going to drive this through. So now we have a press fit. Then we got two washers that we're going to put on there. In fact, I want to try to see if I can find some bigger ones. No, nope, that's too big. Plus, I need that for my trailer. I just want to make sure that this doesn't wear into the wood. So, we're going to take put this on there. And we're going to put a lock nut on it. So that it will lock. Start from the other side because that thread is buggered up. And so is that one. All right. I can't take this back out because when I go to put back in there, this cord's going to be against it and it's going to be pushing it away from the hole and I'm not going to be able to get it back in the same hole. So I'm going to have to cut that off right where it sits. And before I do that, I'm going to put something there. don't hit my carpet or rug because that rug goes on the porch. So we're going to just gonna cut that off right there and try to do it as neat as possible.
doesn't work. Well, we better cool it down a little bit. Now we've got a set of wheels on it. It works just fine. Now all we're going to do is clean it up a bit. Then we take some pictures of it. I kind of rather my trailer not be in the freaking background. But we'll take it out here and take some pictures of it, put it on Craigslist, and put it for sale. And that's what it uh, takes to add wheels to a Husky. And we're going to give you the model number here in just a second. Uh, Husky. You guys can pause the screen. And that's what it is. And look at there. Made in freaking China. Well there it explains a lot. And there's the lot number and everything. 2005 is when this thing was made. Anyway, you guys uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a good one. Later.